What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Honest Reviews with me, Chills. Now, today's episode, we're going to be going to take a look at Stranded Deep here. Um, I thought I would do this because I'm revisiting this series, and I thought I would give you guys my honest opinion about the game that I'm playing. Um, this review is not your typical kind of review, so it is something that is more or less going to be based off of what money value you get. So are you going to get your value for what you're actually paying for? Uh, so I don't give it a 5 star rating or a, a 9 out of 10 kind of shit. I do it based off of how much money are you going to pay for this game and will you get your money's worth for it. And then I try to give you guys a little bit of insight into the game itself and let you know about some positive things and possibly some negative things if there are any about it. So the first thing you can see here is what the game is basically about. You are a plane crash survivor and you end up stranded on an island somewhere in the Pacific, o Pacific Ocean. So with that being said, you're going to end up on an island. Um, you get to the life raft, you get to an island, and now you have to survive. So you can encounter different kinds of animals. At the very beginning there was nothing. Uh, they have now introduced, there's bats, there's snakes, there's boars, there's, um, what is it? Bats, snakes, bears, no bears, boars, sharks, uh, stingray, I think they're still in the game. There's a whole plethora of fish, um, crabs, and birds, and whatever else. So a whole bunch of shit there. And the cool thing about this game is they are still actively updating the game. I think this came out in like July of 2015 or something like that. And still at the end of uh, um, November in 2016, they're still updating the game. Currently, they're in experimental build 1803. Uh, 1802, they just introduced a whole line of furniture that you can do in the game now. And they they are actively trying to improve the performance they've really improved the graphics quality um it's still a little bit of glitchiness in certain spots which is to be expected with any kind of early access game so uh, make sure you're aware of that it does go on steam for about 15 dollars american 16 17 dollars canadian and now where i'd say it is worth the money for the amount of time you can spend playing the game uh, it's not overly grindy. Where it does get grindy is if you're you're doing like what I do in my videos, where I I'll build a freaking hotel, or I'll build a boat launch, or I'll build um, a a boat house. You know, those kinds of projects because it does take four wood per floor or wall and doors and all that kind of stuff, plus all the lashings. It can be very, very time consuming, especially since there's a limited amount of resources that are on each island. Going out to explore on the islands, you have the option of um, checking out the islands that you're are, are going to appear because it is all procedurally generated and every single world is completely different. Even if you enter in the same seed, the world's gonna be different. So it is all procedurally generated and they've made the transition a lot smoother. So they've eliminated some of the huge lag spikes that they used to have. And that was something that used to annoy the shit out of me because whatever item you had in your hand during that lag spike, there was a, a very good chance you were gonna lose it. Um, now, with that being said, the exploration side of things is very, very cool. Because they have a number of different islands you can check out with a whole bunch of different things that you can find from your typical things like you see on screen, the sticks, the, the rocks, and uh, the lashings or the fibrous material. You can find buckets and knives and axes and machetes and compasses. Um, I still don't know if they have the, uh, they used to have Wilson or a variety of, um, from the Tom Hanks movie, and I'm not going to say its name just for copyright reasons, and, um, it's a volleyball that was dressed up, so it would be like a person, and I'm not sure if that's still in the game, they used to have a, um, a parcel package that you could get, uh, there used to be plane crashes, and I haven't seen one in the new playthrough yet, so I don't know if they've taken those out, but there are boat 
wrecks that you can explore as well, which is where you're going to find a lot more of your cool items, but also the danger increases once you're in the water since there's uh, tiger sharks, great white sharks, and all that kind of shit as well. Um, so definitely are going to get your money's worth when it comes to the amount of time that you're going to spend because for even 20 bucks, you are going to spend could be up to 100 hours playing this game. Because it is highly addictive, it is very cool to be able to go out and explore, see all the different things. And now, because of the consistent updates, they have a whole bunch of different tools that you can craft now, different weapons. Um, I think in one of the newest updates, they added in a harpoon. Um, there's air tanks and all that kind of stuff you can craft. So, nothing that's like way out of reach is like, oh, you're going to make a machine gun from... Um, I don't know, like a pine cone. It's nothing like that. It is things like, okay, you find a scuba diver's tank and you would be able to make yourself a, um, a harpoon based off of the pressure and it would use a stick for a harpoon kind of thing. And I, I think the idea is really cool. The premise is pretty cool. Um, one of the downsides to this game though, and um, I say this very lightheartedly because um, depending upon what your situation is, is because it is consistently being updated there is a very good chance that you could lose a world save so if you update the game it could be save breaking so they've changed certain things in the game that when you load the world it basically corrupts the world and you won't be able to get it back uh, I always keep a backup of my worlds and uh, even with that being done when you put it into the new save folder, it just says that the world won't work and they have to start over. So if it is something where you're looking for long term, you would have to stay on an older version without updating. So create a separate directory where it would run from, not from Steam. Um, so you could have one that would be updated constantly, but you could stick on one stable version without the updates. And then once a stable version comes out, you could try to put your save game into that version and see if it works. Uh, a lot of work to be done just to try to keep your stuff, so keep that in mind if you're going to be doing bigger projects or looking for something that's a little bit more long term, because it may not always be possible. So what you're seeing on screen right now is just a bunch of the different items that's available through crafting. The, this section here is strictly on tools. On the left hand side of that paper you can actually see uh, there's like the tool section, there's a home section, there's a marine section, uh, there is two other sections which I can't remember right now and uh, each one has different things that you can build so the tool section is all your weapons and all your tools that you're going to be able to use for um, all all your crafting things of building so you can make a hammer you can make an axe you can make a spear you can make a, a fishing spear all those kinds of things are going to be in that section when it comes to the home section it's going to be everything that you need to build your your house so foundations floors walls doors windows stairs those kinds of things are all going to be in that section uh, there's quite a variety in it too so it's something that you can uh, not be limited in with the exception of it's a square but you can do you know a 3x3 three three square you can do a 20x20 20 20 square it's entirely up to you and like I've done before you can do five six levels high so as long as you got the resources you can definitely do it um, the other thing that I found quite annoying in this is because of the fact you aren't able to do farming in the sense of trees you run out of resources really fast because you, you go to build a house on an island the island that you're on they're not very big they have increased the size of them but even with that being said it could be 20 trees on it and on each one you'll get three logs three logs yields 12 wood well from that you're going to get 240 pieces of wood that's actually only going to be about uh, let's see 16 16 walls and floors so it's really not a whole lot and that's where you go okay now I have to go to another island which means you're gonna row to another island and yes you can build a motorboat 
and that's by finding different parts of a motor plus duct tape and then creating a motor and it allows you to travel faster but you're limited by the amount of space you have in your inventory so if you go over to another island sure you can cut down 100 trees if they're there but you're not going to be able to bring them all back at once so that's where the time consumption comes in and it can get to a point where it wears on you just like you know what fuck this I, I don't want to do it anymore and it takes a little bit of the fun out of it because you're consistently going back and forth between islands just to get resources so you can build on one central island um and it, it does take away from the game in a little in a little way because especially if you're like myself and you're doing a youtube video certain videos of mine have taken up to three four or five hours to record a 20 30 minute episode and it's because of that fact I have to go back and forth to gather up the resources so that I can say, okay, I finally have 300 pieces of wood. Let's build this. And that's where it can get quite tedious. But um, if you're not going to be doing that large-scale building, the, the fun aspect of going out and exploring the different islands and checking out what you can find is really cool. Because they have, like I said, the shipwrecks is one. The other one, aside from the islands, is they have like a... Um, seems like an old oil rig um I don't, I don't even know what you call it but it's like a station where people would work where there would be uh they would extract oil from the ocean and you can go through and check that area out it's really creepy and it actually has quite ominous music in it but there's no you know zombies or anything like that that are going to attack you so you just go in there and it's really cool to try to set up a base on something like that so um, it does have its its perks and it does have its little bit of negatives and um, here's another one that you know even with a upgraded axe it's still gonna take you on the low one 10 swings to break a log into sticks with the upgraded axe it takes eight and with the actual axe that you can find it takes six so you're talking six hits for every log to get sticks and to get those logs, it still takes six hits. So for each tree, it's going to be over 36 hits just to get the 12 pieces of wood. Um, that puts it into a little bit of perspective for you guys so you can actually see. But I'm not knocking the game at all, guys, because it has been a ton of fun. I've really enjoyed it, uh, but it did get really pressing for me in the later episodes especially when i was trying to do the modded and that's the other thing there are mods available for the stable versions uh which you can fly around you can actually get a real motorboat um i think you can get some sort of like a katana and they they've added a whole bunch of weird random shit but that's the kind of uh, following that you have for the game so it's not like it's a one and done kind of thing and the devs are really active in actually getting the updates out it's almost once a week and that's what got me away from the series before when i was doing the modded they would come out with the stable modded version and then a week later it would be broken because they would release an update and then a week later they would bring in another modded version to, f to fix the broken parts and then within a week, it would be broken again because they'd release another updated version of the game. So it got to a point where I really couldn't play because every time I went to record, the game was broken. So it can happen, but again, if you're just doing this for your own fun at home, there is a lot of cool things about the game. One thing I really hope that they would add is even just a local multiplayer where you can bring on a friend and say, hey, come check out my island or help me get some shit from this island to this island. It would really help me out. Uh, I think that would be a cool little feature. Not, don't need any like massive multi uh, online multiplayer thing. Don't need anything like that, but it would be cool to be able to have a person or two or three come onto your world and say hey check out my stuff or help me go to this island and we'll pick up a bunch of resources and bring it back so i could build i think that would be cool to be able to do together so definitely on my chills rating scale you are going to get your 15 to 17 dollars worth depending on where you're from you can easily get that probably within the first week uh, because it is enough to get you excited and keep going and then for those who have played it for quite some time, they keep adding new things to rekindle that excitement. So like myself, I took a break from it for about three months, four months. And now here I am, I'm back playing again, got a brand new series going, and I'm loving every bit. Like this whole thing was starting to fire. 
was never a thing. You could not use a stick to start a fire. You always had to find a lighter or there was some other thing that you had to do to be able to get the fire going. Or I think you were given the lighter at the beginning so you could have a fire going. So those little things are what keep you excited. And then what you see here, this is your little, um, I guess your, what do you call it, GUI, where it tells you your, your health, your thirst, your hunger, and your uh, tired tiredness and then in order to save the game you have to either craft a bed or a small shelter and then that'll allow you to save the game so you won't lose any of your progress and then you can exit the game if you do exit the game without having one of those you're going to lose all your progress you have to start all over again uh so like i said guys definitely the the positive outweighs the negative i wouldn't uh I wouldn't want to knock it at all because it is a great game. The devs are completely active in it. They've made drastic improvements. Uh, performance was atrocious before and now it's actually gotten really smooth. There's a few glitches that I've noticed when it comes to the inventory. Things may sometimes disappear or things that seem like they're in your, they're, they are in your inventory actually aren't. So with that, it's, you know, like I said, it's early access. It's not anything where... Um, you know, it's never going to get fixed. If they get told that it's there, most likely by the next patch, it's going to be fixed. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit longer than my normal ones, but I wanted to get this out to you guys and give you a real honest opinion of what I thought about this game. Definitely enjoyed it. I think if you paid the $15 to $17 Canadian American for it, you're going to get your money out of it. And um, Black Friday sales coming up next week. Might want to check that out. Might go on sale for like 10 bucks, and it would be definitely worth to catch that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, you already know what to do with that like button. And if you haven't hit the sub button yet, make sure you do that too. You'll actually get to see more episodes of Stranded Deep, plus three episodes every single day of a whole bunch of other stuff. Take care. Very simple.